year 2507. Mankind's Golden Age came to a final and catastrophic end on 3rd May 2507, just two days after the Battle of Bigger. The battered fleet and small peacetime army were utterly unprepared for the nightmare to come, despite full mobilization. At 06 hours, Earth Eastern Standard Time, thousands upon thousands of outlandish, chillingly alien ships leapt out of all space and began moving at full speed towards Earth. Full space drive cannot function in close proximity to gravity wells, and as such, it will take this unknown enemy 8 hours to reach low orbit. Such a grim countdown only served to insidiously claw at the morale of the men on the ground, gripping their weapons and readying their vehicles for the coming battle. Earth's Guardian fleet might have been able to make an impact on the invasion armada, were it not for its battering at the hands of the abandonists two days earlier. As it was, the vast alien armada simply swept Earth's last line of defense aside, sustaining minimal losses in return. The destruction of the human fleet was near total, with only a small collection of frigates, destroyers and lighters able to escape the slaughter. The men on the ground will be on their own. Shortly after the armada achieved low orbit, the skies over the Earth's city blackened with bizarre dropships, the like of which had never seen before. Interceptors and anti-air defenses managed to take a grim toll on the enemy, such were the volume of targets. However, in reality it was like throwing stones at the tide. Soon the fighting spread to the streets, as thousands upon thousands of nightmarish alien vehicles and infantry made planetfall. In short order and with brutal efficiency, they proceeded to eradicate Earth's terrified defenders, slaughtering them with advancing and horribly deadly plasma weaponry. Within hours, the fighting was mostly over and Earth was lost. The focus of the defense of the civilian population quickly shifted to escape at any cost. Any ships which could be found were filled to bursting with panicked refugees desperate to flee their tormentors. With most communication channels filled with the screams of the defenseless and the dying, pleas for help and blank static, chaos and desperation hung over the populace like a curse. Mankind's long suppressed advantage animal instincts took over, many were killed, expelled or crushed in the stampedes, skirmishes and struggles for a ride of planet. Frequently, these frantic efforts were futile, with ships being disabled on the ground or before they put enough distance from Earth to reach a jump point. Ominiously, the enemy seemed far more concerned with taking unarmed civilians alive than killing them by this stage, foreshadowing future revelations about this new and horrifying foe. Those ships that did manage to jump away generally chose the remotest of mankind's colonies to escape in the hope that they could be beyond the notice of the enemy. Those that jump to any of the cradle worlds will find themselves back in the mirror nightmare, as exactly the same events were unfolding on all seven of these great systems. A fortunate few were able to jump again, while many more were taken by the enemy before their drives could be recharged. In less than 48 hours after the invasions, the governors of the jet on colonies gave the orders to reconfigure their planets as false space nodes. These beacons are required destinations for accurate false space jumps, and with the recording, it will be impossible for any uninformed ship to use them, leaving those yet to escape to their doom. Most likely, this desperate and pragmatic act was what saved the colonies and those that fled to them, as surely the enemy would have discovered the note codes and followed the refugees to end free humanity once and for all. In total, it is estimated that only 100% of Earth and 500% of the Cradle War system populations were able to escape to the colonies. Combined with the colony's own modest populations, free humanity was but a small fraction of what it once was, but would one day be enough to rise from the ashes and face that which ended mankind's greatest age.